beautiful pink ladies, my pink squad, the sisterhood, and my friends. How is everyone doing? It's your girl, Pinky, and I am coming to ask you, can we talk for a minute? Hell to the yes, because, ladies, there has been something brought to my attention again, um, maybe for the last couple of weeks, that I feel like I have no control over. But however, the same way I talk to the sisterhood here, my squad, my girls, my family, my friends, my loved ones, I consider you um, individuals and pink ladies, um, my squad, my family, my friends, my loved one, wherever you may be. I want to, you know, get the same opportunity and, and, you know, understanding and, um, advice from you guys as well. So before we get into it as a disclaimer, let me start off by saying that, um, I do not tolerate disrespect. Um, that is really a pet peeve of mine. I feel like, um, we can respect one another as grown as women, men, whatever um, age range you're in, where we can have a conversation and not go overboard and be disrespectful and want to call each other, you know, out of um, our names. It's just inappropriate, and that's just something. That's not my get down. I'm sorry, your girl Pinky does not, does not um, tolerate that. I don't deal with no BS, no bullshit unless it's bags and shoes because that's what makes me cute and it keeps my outfit together um so you know if you feel like you can't you know um respond to this video or have a conversation without being disrespectful then i would just say you know go ahead and either go through the video skip thumbs down whatever you're going to do but you know please don't be disrespectful to others here and my sisterhood my squad my family my friends because um the same way i don't want you disrespecting me i honestly don't want anyone disrespecting any of my friends you know um loyalty and people being being supportive and understanding and respectful is something that I cherish and I really truly take to heart. Um, so anywho, getting into this conversation, this is going to be about the sisterhood, the channel, family, friends, loyalty, support, that sort of thing. Because it's been brought to my attention again, I wasn't going to address it. Um, but like I said, I've talked about it here with several different people. And I want to talk to, you know, my squad, wherever you may be in the world, um, here with you on YT. Um, the issue at hand is, um, first off, let me say, let me start telling you ladies something about um, this channel um, here on YT and why it's called Pinky Baby 74, um, why I call it my pink ladies, my my um, squad, my pink squad, all of that. And it just boils down to uh, my channel is based on um, happiness, being genuine, being supportive, uh, being able to laugh, to sing, to dance, to do different hauls, to share, um, to be loving, to be prayer warriors, to be a blessing, to be uplifting. We don't do any bullying. It's not any gang affiliation. It don't cause shit to be a part of the squad, a part of the sisterhood, to be a family, a friend to myself and others that's already a part of the squad. It's just a matter of wanting to be a blessing, wanting to laugh, to smile, to pray for people, to get to know different people. Um, that's what my channel is about. About. I don't look down upon anyone unless I'm help lifting them up. Who am I to judge and point the finger at any damn body when I have my own issues that I pray um, for myself about or I ask others to pray for me about? That's just a no-go. There's only one person I feel that it can be judgmental towards us and, and give us the correct direction on some things. You may get opinions and, you know, things from parents, best friends, husbands, and ask, you know, for different goals. But, I mean, I feel like there's only one person, which is God, that has the final so say so and everything. So with that being said, um I people ask me how how pinky <laughs> excuse me, but how pinky can you always be so happy? Why are you there's no way in hell a person is always so happy, laughing, full of joy, singing, dancing everywhere you go, smiling, waving to people. I mean, that's just me. You can ask my family, my friends, my daughters whomever, um, I said daughters, I have goddaughters, but I meant my daughter, my goddaughters, whomever, um, 
That's just me genuinely. I have my moments. Don't get me wrong. I cry just like when I've lost loved ones. You know, um, I've gotten behind on bills. I have my issues. I do. But I pray about it and I leave it there. And then I try to, you know, be a blessing to others. My thing to certain scenarios is once I pray about it, I leave it there. Because if I pray about it and I continue to cry and mope and, and be sad, it's like, where's my faith? I'm not trusting in who I'm praying to or what I'm praying about. And I instilled that in my daughter and it's instilled in me. And so that's why I leave it there. Then I'm able to come and be happy. Some things are really hurtful, you know, as, you know, my aunt's passing. If something happened to my child, a close friend, of course, that is going to take a huge um, part of me and and I would probably feel like shit, which we all do when we use lose a loved one, uh, a child, husband, brother, mother, whomever it is, someone very close and dear to you. And I get that. I truly do. And a lot of us go, you know, through that. You don't even want to see your child or, or anyone being sick that you're concerned about. So my thing is when people ask me that, I'm, my question is like this. How does my joy offend you or anybody that has a channel? How does their joy offend you? I, I don't understand that. Misery loves company. And me, like uh, me and Misery, we don't get along. That is just somebody that, that I can't allow in my circle of friends or in my bubble. I will simply say, Misery, misery you need to kick rocks, get the hell up out of Dodge. I'm not effing with you. Well, however you want to take it, take it. But you got to go because that's not a part of my clique. That's not your girl. Get down. Y'all feel what I'm saying? So, um, with that being said, I, um, my, um, content, um, there's a lot of things that I do and that a lot of people enjoy seeing. And then there are several things that I'm not going to do. Like, I'm not going to come on here and do a video where I'm bashing another YouTuber. Sorry, I'm not going to do that. I've had people say, you know, um, Maybe you should get on there and do a video and bash this person, unsubscribe from that person, blah, 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 blah. No, the, I still stay subscribed to that, that YouTuber um, because I may still enjoy their content. Everything that they do, I may not agree with, so I don't comment. I don't give a thumbs up. I don't give a thumbs down. I don't say anything or I just stop watching it. I just feel like... That that's all the energy that I need to give. But I'm not getting ready to come on here and be like, you know what? F that such and such and F that person and unsubscribe from that person. I was like, you know what? It all will come into play. It will all come into play. And that person that's doing me dirty, other YouTuber dirty, uh, other YouTubers dirty or whatever it is they tend to do, it will be handled. It will be handled accordingly. And I don't even have to do anything. I just tell them, you know what? Keep doing you blessings, you know, and however you feel like you got to get ahead to do what you do, then you do that. But, you know, that's it. Um, So I've had several people come at me and say, you know what? I've seen some people... um do some things where they've taken some of your content or I feel like you should have more subscribers, more viewers, or people should give you shout outs because you give them shout outs. I give people shout outs because I want us all to grow. Um, I can't express that enough. Please, ladies, 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 um, as your friend and you being my friend, please understand I can't make anyone give me a shout out. There have been individuals that have given me shout out. Shaquana, um, um, my girl Vivian Elizabeth, that's that's my baby. Um, a lot of people that want to give me shout outs don't even have YouTube channels. My big sis, Risa Richardson, um, Nene Jones, um, um, Weightless, um, Wendy, um, it, it's quite a few people that I can name that, that really do give me shout outs in whichever way they can, especially if they don't do YT videos and they're on Instagram, um, they will, you know, post my picture, go support my girl, that sort of thing. And I appreciate that. Me, I just do it in a different way. I come with song, I come with laughter, I come with play, but we all are trying to grow. We are all trying trying to experience and learn and do different things. And I can't force anyone to um, share my content. At the end of videos, at the beginning, I always say, please thumbs up, please like, please share, subscribe. That's all I can do. Um, the rest is just left up 
to whoever decides to watch, whoever decides to share, subscribe, and like, and join the Sisterhood, the squad. Now, the ones that are supportive, loyal, dedicated, oh my goodness, I see you, I see you, I see you. Uh, and it's truly a blessing. I write it down. I mean, um, I, I keep you in prayer. I'm like, you know what? No matter what this individual is going through, she's always there for me. She's always looking out for me. When she, when I don't hear from certain individuals and I have their social media or other ways to get in contact with them, I'll reach out to them and be like, you know what? Are you okay? You know, I'm praying for you. I haven't heard from you. What's going on? There's um, Mariah, my girl Mariah. If you're watching, I don't know what's going on. I know she She's had a lot going on in her um, family. Um, I haven't heard from her in a while. That doesn't mean that she's not loyal or not a pink lady or no longer in the sisterhood. It's just that she may be going through some some shit, excuse me, and we all go through something. My two cams, love you to pieces, still praying for you. I don't have to put her business out there, but I personally talked to her, and I hadn't seen or heard from her in a while, but then she hit me up, and she needed prayer. Boom, I was there. That's what true friends, loyalty, and being consistent is. So I just want... um. You ladies and gents, whomever opinion that is, is just truly uh, um, enjoying my content, love laughter, love the hugs, the kisses, because I love all of you. I truly do. Um, some things I, I, and then I have a lot of things that I have uh, recorded that I haven't uploaded. I have more what's in my purses. I have more hauls, um, Dollar Tree hauls. I have um, certain things that's dealing with makeup. I have a new, um, my romper rooms are coming back up. I have some things where I'm doing something, um, task and things with my daughter. I'm going to this year um, and tr introduce all of you because, you know, um, I feel like you're respectable. I'm going to introduce you to, you know, Miss Mary, my mother, the one, you know, who blessed to me. Um, I want to finally introduce you ladies um, and my squad to her. I have um, more challenges coming up. Spicy noodle challenges. It's just with, um, please understand that I had just went through so much and I did a video on that explaining with all the deaths. My mom's two sisters dying back to back. Then her brother died and then her nephew died. Niece died. Cousin died. It was just a lot. A lot going on. You know, you struggle back and forth. We all have bills. That's why I say, you know, try to just pray about it because even though you're in a new year, some of the things that from 2017 that you wanted to leave and not carry into 2018, it did transition over, but it's not as bad. That means you don't have to pay as much as you had to pay in 2017. You you get what I'm saying? Can I have a hug? Because I'm feeling a little emotional. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But I mean, I just, I just want everyone to understand that I know everyone is not going to get along. And like I said, the ladies that reach out to me, I truly appreciate it. I agree. I want my channel to grow. I want people to, to love and laugh and, and be supportive. I'm going to continue to shout out people. I'm not going to stop doing that because I do that because it's something that brings me joy. It feels like I'm doing my part to help others. Um, when, when people... Um, send me pinky mail, whether it's a card and, and that sort of thing. You know, that's a blessing to me. I still shout them out if they say it's okay for me to mention it. it it's just about... Um, the dedication and loyalty, ladies, and, and, and my squad, um, friends, family, loved ones. We just got to continue to grow together. And um, once again, I'm going to ask, and you can hear me, if you can please like, share, subscribe, check out the channel, check out the content. A lot of time I don't do, you know, get ready with me or the makeups or that sort of thing because, you know, there are a lot of those videos out already dealing with the makeup. A lot of people, because we stay in different states, when you can purchase different things and share different things, they enjoy that. You know, I'm going to have happy hour. Trust me, I have so much, much, much more coming to this channel this sisterhood and thank you for helping continuing to grow in the positivity um 
I love all of you to pieces. God bless you. I hope you understand the reason for this video. Please comment down below any questions, anything that you have any concerns about because I'm here for you. Thank you for being there for me. Um, continue to be a blessing to one another. I love you. Stay tuned because I do have some more um, pre-recorded videos that I'm about to upload and share with you. So just take the time and please watch them. Play catch up, like, share, and subscribe. God bless. And until we talk again, I love you. Mwah.